hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're not yet subscribed to this channel make sure that you're subscribed as you can see guys we always start with our rawest most natural form and uh, the first thing that I normally do is that I moisturize my face I make sure that I've applied the Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, aqua gel it's not a serum it's an aqua gel so i've applied it all over my face just to make sure that uh, good things are going into my skin first before i apply any makeup and then now you really want a good base for your makeup and therefore that's why i'm applying the makeup revolution pore blur primer this is a, a filling primer it fills up your pores and essentially blast them so that's what I've applied after the moisturizer and then now what I'm applying right now is an orange color corrector and I'm just applying it on the dark spots that are on my skin just to make sure that they are not visible when I apply my foundation because I want a flawless finish and then just ignore the hairline I'm suffering from alopecia as you can see <laughs> anyway guys um uh, my hairline is reducing but those are normal things ignore it proceeding so after applying the uh, orange color corrector and making sure that i've evenly spread it in the areas that i want to be um hidden i am now going to do my eyebrows and i've just filled in my eyebrows with a dark brown pencil and then now i'm going to define my eyebrows and by defining it means i want them to be visible on my skin tone because i mean they're dark brown and my skin is also brown so i definitely want them to stand out and that's the reason i'm applying that concealer below and above my eyebrows it's a concealer that is a few shades lighter than my skin tone so it will definitely make the eyebrows more visible on my skin and for that concealer i'm just using the la girl pro conceal concealer and that is the shade phone i have also gone ahead and applied it on my eyelids as an eyeshadow primer uh, or an eyeshadow base and then i'm also going to use it to highlight my under eyes that is to make my under eyes more bright and also the nose of my bridge and also anywhere else that i want to be brightened on my face so basically what i'm doing here is what we call underpainting underpainting involves applying your concealers and all your color correctors your contour shades below your foundation instead of on top of it so um because i forgot to apply my uh that the eyebrow mascara on my eyebrows the one that is supposed to hold the eyebrows stuck to my face so that it doesn't rub off that is what i'm applying right now and that is the bra from the brand pastel it is an eyebrow wax that i've just applied on my eyebrows okay so now we are going to blend in all that concealer make sure that it is well blended so that there are no harsh lines uh, and it doesn't look unnatural so i'm just using a brush to do this and i'm just going to make sure that it's blended Once you're done with blending out your concealer using a beauty blender, we are now going to do foundation. And for foundation, I'm just going to use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And this is the shade 9N, which is 9 neutral. I absolutely love this foundation. Oh, what, I, what I love the most about this uh, L'Oreal foundation is that it is not cakey at all. It's full coverage, but it's not cakey. And it just... It matches it glides onto your skin and it's very easy to blend so i've used i've applied it all over my face just ignore again the hairline part we're going to make sure we correct that now i know i said that i was going to underpaint that is apply my concealer just below my face but i've decided that i need a little bit more brightening and that's why i've gone in with this maybelline superstay concealer and applied it under my eyes again and around my mouth just for further brightening you don't have to do this twice 
you can always just underpaint and it will be fine so i'm just dabbing it in with a beauty blender to make sure that it is it is evenly distributed again and you don't have any cakey looks again i know that the hairline is looking whack it's looking like a straight line uh definitely we are going to correct that because we know that the area around your hair is always darker towards your forehead it's always darker than the rest of your face so you don't want to look ridiculous as if you have a mask on so we'll correct that at the end of the video and i'm just using this contour shade right now to just apply uh to do my nose contour now my nose is broken i broke it when i was young so contouring my nose is usually kind of tricky because there's a lot of bumps on my nose you might not realize that but my nose is very very bumpy so but uh, i just try to like contour the upper part alone and tend to avoid the area around the bump and then now what i'm doing is that i'm setting the concealer that i applied under my eyes and in various parts of my face so the conceal uh, i'm say using the black opal setting powder to do this step so we are just going to set that concealer so that it doesn't crease you know i mean when you you talk you make faces and sometimes your makeup can crease because you're talking because you're laughing because you're you know crying whatever the case um, so what you do is that you apply a setting powder just to make sure that it doesn't crease and then now we are on the good part which is the eyeshadow and today I wanted to be really really bold because I have not done blue in a while and if you haven't watched my videos of late which reminds me if you're not yet subscribed to this channel and you've reached this point in the video make sure that you're subscribed uh, make sure you give the video a like and also make sure that you share comment you know the likes anyway guys as i was saying i've not done blue in a while and of late if you've been watching my videos i've been doing like sort of monochromatic shades of color i don't really want many colors of eyeshadow on my face so uh but i have used various shades of blue i've used like uh this deep ocean blue and i've also used like a really light blue just to blend it out so the lighter shade of blue was just for blending it out but i just wanted like this vibrant blue as eyeshadow yes and uh, for the mascara i'm just using this tom ford mascara which i'm just going to use to straighten my eyelashes before i apply my fake lashes okay before we put on the lashes we are going to do our lips and i'm just outlining my lips as usual with a dark brown pencil and i'm just lining it all over all around my lips creating the outline basically using this dark brown pencil and then after that i am going to go in with this lipstick by maybelline this is the sensational range the maybelline sensational range and this is the color keep it mellow which as i always say is absolutely not flattering on my skin tone when used alone as you can see it's a very pink watermelon pink shade so not very flattering on my skin tone but when i use it oh, with the dark brown eyeshadow and create a two-toned lip effect and apply some lip gloss on top voila absolutely stunning so that is exactly what i've done what i'm applying there is a lip gloss and then after that we have we will put on our eyelashes hopefully because I absolutely don't love makeup looks without eyelashes. <laughs> We're not in 2002 anymore. I'm now just going to apply a little bit of blush on my face what you saw me doing before that was that i was applying some setting powder all over my face so i'm just going to apply a little bit of blush on my cheekbones and then afterwards i will do some highlighter so i'm just using this nyx um glow shots these are actually liquid eyeshadows yes they're liquid eyeshadows but i like to use them also as highlighters 
and you just have to blend really fast because they dry down really really fast so i'm just only using it at the tip of my nose just to give it a little bit of shine and then i'm going to go in with my nyx um highlighter yes and this is their shade golden hour i've forgotten the name of the nyx brand and then we are going to rectify that forehead because it was clearly 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 not working it's so i've just gone in with a bronzer and i'm just applying it all over a bronzer is just basically like a dark brown powder um that's supposed to like create a fake tan and so 